Hello and welcome, Julie Cube here. Thought I'd try something different today again. I have done this in past working with modeling paste lots of times. Um, I'm just doing it on a smaller canvas to give you the gist, the ideas, and then um, work on from there. So at this moment, I just used, as you've seen, that was soft modeling paste. But I'm getting um, the idea that maybe I could get a great big tub from my local hardware of uh, the same sort of stuff, slurry for walls, and uh, use that on a big canvas. Because I was just thinking if I really wanted to try this on a, a nice big canvas for a really um, standout, classic kind of wall uh, art, I would, I'd have to use so many of those tubs because they don't come sort of any more than uh, 500 mils in a tub. So um, that's just an idea. So I will definitely um, work that one out if I can get some big tubs of this stuff to do on a big wall art. So at first I'm just put a nice layer and um, straightening it out or leveling it out just using that offset spatula which is actually a, a cake icing spatula so perfect for doing something that's almost like cake icing now i'm using my um it's what do they call them a scraper paint scraper to do some little like um what do they call windmill effects so as you see i'm just using the scraper to create those texture in in the um the paste so i'm just wiping off the excess and carry on to the next one but really love loving the results of this and just so excited to think i want to try it on a huge big board so i definitely must have a trip to my local hardware this weekend and see if i can get a big tub of the slurry to put on a large surface because this is, is fun and it really adds a lot of depth. And they're pretty expensive to buy in my area, these wall arts that are textured with um, yeah abstract look on them. So it, it was fun to do. It's something different than your acrylic pouring. And so I definitely want to put more um, choice, more different DIY projects diy art projects on my channel i think in future it, um, it's just all, always good to diversify and branch out i guess and i was really enjoying these so just trying to keep saving every little bit that i pull off um, and then obviously when you've done your design just move it to the side and go on to the next one if you do or you have to leave it to dry I'll let, we'll leave this to dry overnight. Just finishing off around the edges and any little um, details you want to put in. Um, I think the kind of middle needs a little bit of something. So might even use, a, oh, there you go, a skewer and um, poke some of the um, texture paste in the middle. But I think that one's absolutely fine once um, it's going to be dry and then go to the next stage. So stay with me and I'll show you what we do. Okie doke, okie doke. On with the next one. I'm trying just modelling paste, not the soft modelling paste. So we'll try this one now in a different style. Um, it is quite fun working with the different mediums. It's, yeah, really get your creative juices going. Now, what I noticed with this one, it is definitely thicker, harder to spread. Um, so the soft paste is probably the nicest and easiest to work with. But somebody did tell me you could put a couple of drops of washing up liquid in it and stir it in, and it makes it nice and soft and pliable. But um, as I've said before, I'm going to actually try the, like, wall plaster they use for walls because you can get great big tuck right here yeah, next stage very just getting that spatula uh, economical I'm going prices to use so if i wanted edge, to do the nice really nice edge to create wall covering, my then pattern then in the, the texture definitely go so i'm just so spreading this in like as though you're icing a cake pattern i thought 
I'd create in this one. Um, so, I mean, if you think of something different, yeah, you can let me know or give it a go yourself. But um, it's quite good trying to think of things to do in the texture and I'll definitely explore this more because it's, um, yeah, really nice, easy and something different to um, get the old mind, the brain cells working. So as you can see, I'm doing this kind of star effect just to keep going out in every single one. Um, and I know that this will look nice. Actually, these, when they're done on huge pieces of canvas or board, just in this very simple and left white, actually look really nice on a dark colored wall. Um, but anyway, I of course won't leave it white, it's perfectly fine to do so, but I just want to go the next step with this one. So just using that bit of scrunched up um, saran wrap or cling, foil, cling wrap as they call it here in Australia, just to add a bit of texture in the center. I mean that, that actual look would be quite nice even all over the texture I reckon. Um, then I'm just doing some lines on the inside of my kind of starburst or whatever you want it to be. Just let your imagination go crazy. So there you go, I have just got to leave it to dry now along with the other one. So that's a really interesting pattern and that one. So I'll leave them to dry overnight and I will be back, but I'll just show you a picture of them singularly and how sort of textured they look, which they look absolutely fine like that. And some people love this kind of thing, just raw kind of um, look to it. So that was the raw and now I'll go on to the next stage of what I'm gonna do with these particular ones. So as you see now, I've left them 24 hours and they're all dry. So you could very well leave them like this. Um, they still give a lovely textured effect and perfectly fine as they are. But if you wanna take it next level, you just go on like I did. I'm pointing there to the middle because I kind of used a little bit of scrunched up uh, plastic to uh, rough the middle up so it didn't look so bland. Um, and I could definitely, I mean the options are so many, but they certainly would look fantastic in really nice big wall deco art um, decorations. So yeah, I'm just using a gold spray. You could very well just paint this with your acrylic paint. I've got um, a respirator mask on and I've got the fan going and all my doors open because spray in can be yeah, very um, not good for your lungs. So please use all protection. So as you see, I'm just using the spray paint and going over it and um, I've got a few little ideas I do wanna do with this. So just watch on. little blue in the center I thought there goes quite nicely um, it probably um, probably looked more richer and upmarket if you just leave it the one color either uh, silver or gold I guess so but you know I'm always in for a bit of color that's for sure so the next one I will I think I'll spray it silver and not gold so move that one out and the next one over. 
So I did make sure that I hadn't got the dogs anywhere with me in the studio while I did this. Um, but they seem to know better and take off when I'm doing any spray painting. So this one come out really nice because it really gave a metal effect to the whole um, canvas. So I thought this was a huge canvas. It, it's still very, very nice. And how easy was it to create these lovely shapes? I'm going to put a little bit of gla a black glitter in there. I'm not sure if um, I should have done this bit, but I did anyway. Just giving it a fluff over with my um, fan brush just to uh, even out that black glitter. It does kind of give it a real metal effect. So it actually was really nice and give it some depth it needed. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, I'll just leave those to dry now and carry on. There's just one more thing I want to do with this and it's just to add a little bit of glitter. I did add a tiny bit of glitter, um, nothing that really changed it. I hope you enjoyed this change with the texture pace and join me again tomorrow and hope um, I can think of some other things to give a go. Take care, my lovelies. Bye for now.